Welcome to the East Hampton Media. We are so happy to have today in the studio the Head Start from Whitebrook Middle School. And I'm the storyteller. I'm Dr. Gail Herman. And I'm going to tell you a story that my grandson and I made up when he was only, how old? Three years old. And some of you are older than three. Some of you are four. This is what happened when he made up the story with me. We were in California. And when we were in California, we went to Disney World. And he saw a backhoe. That's what was, what was so exciting for my grandson, Dunin. He saw a backhoe. And that was the thing that he wanted to go see each morning we were there. He didn't want to go see all the other things that were in the park. He wanted to go see the backhoe. So we went out, and we saw the big backhoe. And there was a construction worker. So we started to make up a story. And this is the story. Every morning, the construction worker would wake up like this. Can you do it? And he would get up, and he would brush his teeth. And then he would put on a jacket, and he would button it up. And he would go out, and he would get into his backhoe, turn the key, and he would start the backhoe to dig a big hole in the ground. And he would be singing, hey ho, the big backhoe, the big backhoe, it digs up dirt. Hey ho, the big backhoe, the big backhoe, it digs up dirt. Well. Every day he did that until one day a dump truck came into the construction site and it started to take the dirt and drive away from the construction site. Oh, the construction worker said, I want to do that. I want to drive a big dump truck because a backhoe, you know, all it does is make a big hole in the ground, but the dump truck gets to go out and drive away. So the next morning, the construction worker woke up. Can you show me? And brushed his teeth and put on his jacket, buttoned it up, and went to the foreman's office. And he said, Boss, I'd like to drive a dump truck. And the foreman, the boss, said, no problem. I need a dump truck driver. So the construction worker went into the dump truck, sat in the driver's seat, and started to drive. Drive, drive, drive the truck. Drive it all around. Open up the big back door. The dirt slides on the ground. It was a lot of fun driving a dump truck. Oh, he did it for many days, day after day, until one day there was a crane at the construction site. The crane was so big and tall. It had a big boom that went way up. And then it had a wire that came down to the ground. And then it had, best of all, these kind of pinchers on the bottom, these things that picked up the pipes and could move them all around. Oh, it was great. So. You know what the construction worker did the next morning when he woke up? <gasps> he brushed his teeth, put on his jacket, 
walked over to the foreman's office and said, hey, boss, I want to drive the crane. <gasps> the boss said, you know what? I need a new crane driver. You can drive the crane today. So the construction worker walked over, went inside the crane where the little cab is, turned it on, and that crane started to do its work. And the construction worker started to sing. The boom goes up, the wires come down, picking the water pipes out of the ground. The boom goes up, the wires come down, picking the water pipes out of the ground. It was fun moving of the crane. It was such a great, great thing. But one morning, oh, a motorcycle came into the construction site. It was another bus, and he was on a motorcycle. And it was like this, motor, motorcycle, yeah. Motor, motorcycle, yeah. It zooms all around really fast on the ground. Zoom, 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 zoom. So the construction worker got really happy. The next morning, when the construction worker woke up, brushed his teeth, put on his jacket, and walked over to the foreman boss's office, knocked on the door. Hey, boss, I'd like to drive a motorcycle. Well, the foreman boss said, you know, we're opening up a new construction site. I need somebody to go over there and check things off when they're done. I can do it, said the construction worker. So the boss gave the construction worker some keys. They jingled. He put them on his belt. Gave the construction worker a nice helmet that had a top. Went right down over his face. And the construction worker got to hold a pad like this with a pen that he could check off when things were done in the new construction place where they were building a new building. So the construction worker got on the motorcycle, put down the top of his helmet, just like that, right, and started to go. Motor, motorcycle, yeah! Motor, motorcycle, yeah! It zooms all around really fast on the ground. Zoom, 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 zoom. It was fun being the boss in the new site. He got there, and he lifted up his helmet, you know, and he took his pad from the back of the truck. And he said, I'm checking things off. So he started to check. He looked around to see what was being done. Check, check. But then he looked at the place where there was supposed to be a big hole in the ground. Guess what? There was no hole in the ground. How can you make a building? if you don't have a hole in the ground to put the foundation, all the cement that goes on the bottom. A dump truck. Well, what, you're right. They needed to have a dump truck, and they did, but they didn't have a backhoe driver. They were all standing around there. They were saying, well, we don't have any backhoe driver. We can't make a big hole in the ground. <gasps> well, the construction worker said, Hey, I used to drive a backhoe. I could do that. And all those new, 
construction workers in the new site, they were, they were like leaning on things, waiting for somebody to come. They said, oh, you could drive the backhoe? You could make the hole then. I sure could. So the construction worker got into the backhoe at the new site, turned the key, just like that, and started to make a hole in the ground with their backhoe. And he started to sing. Can you sing with me? Hey ho, the big backhoe, the big backhoe, it digs up dirt. Hey ho, the big backhoe, the big backhoe, it digs up dirt. And do you know what? From that day on, that construction worker didn't ask to drive any other equipment because he knew how important that backhoe was. Nothing gets done without a big backhoe. And that's the story from my grandson, Doonan, and me. And actually, some Head Start people helped <laughs> in Maryland. So thank you very much. You can clap now. See, that's what we do at the end of a story. We give a little clap. Oh, you're such a good audience. <gasps> and I bet you would like to see one of my other friends. This is my sleepy owl friend. He is very, very sleepy during the day. Because owls can do that. They can turn their heads up all different ways that we can't. They can make their heads really go far around. But this owl and many other owls only would go to sleep in the daytime. Because at night, they had such good eyes that at night, they would come out and catch their food. But in the daytime, the owl liked to sleep. Now, one day when Owl was way up high, trying to go to sleep during the day, and the way he was doing it was he would tuck his beak under his wing like that. And he tried very hard to go to sleep, but it was fall just like it is today. And there were a lot of little scurrying creatures that were making just too much noise. They were going like this. They were making noise like this. And they were scurrying all around the backyard. And poor Owl, he just thought it was a little too noisy. You know, like when somebody has the music up too high? They were making so much noise. Can you do this? They were eating acorn nuts. They were taking the nuts and putting them in their cheeks like this. And they were running up the trees and way up to the branches and storing them in their hole in the tree. Oh, poor owl. He began to get very, very fidgety. He couldn't sleep. It was his time to sleep in the day. And he just kept going, ooh, 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 too noisy, too noisy, ooh, ooh. Oh, too noisy, too noisy. Squirrels, why are you doing that to me? I can't sleep. Go away. Go to the other tree. Go away. Go away. Well, the squirrels knew that Owl was angry because they knew his language. So they scurried across the yard, and they went up, 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 so you could barely hear them. It was a lighter sound in the other side of the yard. Oh, 
Well, that's better, thought Owl. And he began to go back to sleep. So he tucked his little beak and his little eyes under his wing, and he started to go to sleep. But all of a sudden, something woke him up. Well, that poor owl, when he heard all that singing, he just was beginning to get very, very agitated. And his little, little wings were shaking. And he, he was saying, why do you sing so much? Go away. Go to where the squirrels went. I can't sleep today. And so the birds, knowing that owl was being very disturbed, they flew away to the other tree. And you could hardly hear them. Can you make a very small So Owl could go to sleep. He tried to tuck his beak under his wing. And he tried to go to sleep. He tried to go to sleep. He tried to go to sleep. I can't sleep. I can't sleep. Oh, it's just too quiet now. He missed his friends. He missed his squirrel friends that were usually on the ground and up in the trees. He missed his bird friends. Huh. I miss my friends. He couldn't sleep with all that noise. And now he can't sleep without his friends. So Al looked over to the tree far away in the other part of the yard. And he went, woo, 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 woo. Come back, I miss you, woo, woo, woo. And Back came the squirrels. They came running. And the birds came with their little tweet, 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 tweet. And Owl looked up and said, Woo, woo, miss you, miss you, woo, woo. Quiet, quiet, please, miss you quietly, please. And so, that day, the birds learned that they could sing in a very soft voice. Can you show me? And the little squirrels learned that they could chew a little more quietly. Can you do a little one? And from that day on, in the fall, that owl had no problem with the squirrels and all the acorns because everybody was cooperating. And they tried to help Owl go to sleep, which he did. And that's the story of the sleepy owl. Thank you very much. You can clap now. Yeah, good. Very good. That's my little owl story. Oh, boy. And you know those squirrels? They love acorns. <gasps> Let's sing the acorn song, OK? Let's try. Here we go. I'm a little acorn round, lying on the cold, cold ground. Everybody steps on me, because I'm a little cracked, you see. I'm a nut. 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 <laughs> oh, good, good. Now I have one little last story. Do you see this little bird? Yeah. Yeah. This little bird loves to be in my backyard. And this little bird, it's really just a story, but I'm going to tell it like it's true. This little bird in my backyard goes pecking around 
for little seeds that come from grasses that are in the middle of my backyard in like a little garden. And see how that seed falls? He would go over to that place and he would peck it up. Well, one day when Little Bird was hopping in my backyard, he saw a little hole in the back. You know, like a little hole. He saw several little holes. And he went a little closer, but not too close, because he didn't know what was in the hole. When all of a sudden, <gasps> up popped a little worm out of that little hole. And Birdie said, you know, he's got little eyes in a, in a mouth. And, and, and pardon? That's a little eye and a little mouth. He said, worm. And little Birdie said, would you like to come to my party? And that little worm that was popping up out of the ground said, oh, a party. Can you do that? Oh, a party. I love parties. But would you try to eat me? Oh, no. Beep, beep. No, no. Beep, beep. No, no. OK. But can I bring my big sister to your party? And the little bird thought and said, is she bigger and fatter than you, little worm? And little worm said, oh, yes, she's bigger and fatter than I am. Oh, then she can come. And little bird moved a little closer to the little worm. And all of a sudden, pop, up came big sister. Yeah, she was bigger than the little worm. So little bird said, big sister, would you like to come to my party? And the big sister said, oh, a party? Yeah, I love parties. But would you try to eat me? Oh, no, 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 no. I wouldn't do that. And the little bird moved a little closer to the two worms. And Big Sister said, can I bring our brother, our big brother? <laughs> Bird said, is he bigger and fatter than you? Oh, yes, he's bigger and fatter than I am. Then he can come. Pop, pop, the third worm, Big Brother. He was bigger, and he was fatter than the others. <gasps> oh. Would you like to come to my party? Big Brother said, a party? Oh, but would you try to eat me? And the little bird said, oh, no, 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 beep, 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 no, I wouldn't do that, and moved a little closer. And then Big Brother said, but could I bring my little friend? my big little friend? And the little bird said, where is he? And big brother said, he's right there behind that tree over there. And bird turned around to see how big and fat the friend was. And out jumped a big, fat, hungry cat. And that little bird didn't move a little closer. That little bird flew away and was never seen again. And the little worms, they went back into their little hole and just dug some more tunnels. And that's the story of the bird and the worms. Thank you very much. <laughs> You did good. You did very nicely. And I want to thank our television audience for being with us. And I want to encourage the children that are at home to think of what stories you could think about from your backyard or from your construction site. So with that, we will say goodbye. Let's all say goodbye. 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 Good.
great. You did wonderfully. Thank you. back and ask everyone, which one did you like best? The truck. The truck. Which one did you like? Um, You're not sure? Okay. Which one did you like? I like the acorn. The acorn one. Which one did you like best? The acorn. The acorn one. What did you like best? Did you like the bird, the owl, or the, or the truck one? Back home. Okay. Which one did you like best? The owl one. The owl one. Which one did you like owl. best? Which one did you like best? The, the bird. The bird? Which one did you I like? I like the bird. The bird one? I like the owl and the bird. The owl and the bird. Okay. Which did you like? The owl and the bird. Okay. Which did you like? Um, the owl and the bird. Okay. Which did you like? The, the truck, the bird, or the owl? Owl. Owl? Okay. A bird. The bird. Okay. Which one did you like? Um, the bird. The bird. The bird and the worm. Yeah. Which one did you like? Um, I think 